Okay, so let's watch the first six minutes of season five of Love and Hip Hop Hefflewood. Because I'm sorry, these people are Hollywood adjacent. They're giving me Ventura. They're giving me Fresno. They're giving me Bakersfield. They come into L.A. to shoot, but then they get their ass on the five, head right on home. I ain't even been to L.A., and I know that. So we gonna open with K. Michette. And what is this? Is this a person? Is this supposed to be a human being? Oh, God, Moniece! Lord, and she got one big dookie braid, and it do look like dookie. The I dream of Jeannie look she has going on in her confessional is nice, but girl, you ain't Cleo. Take these braids out your head. Oh, Jesus Christ, your career, your career, you've been on this show five fucking seasons, five fucking seasons, and we have yet to hear a dollop of music out of your ass. Mo nude slaughter. Oh, Lord, what's this green thing looking like a mop? Oh, God, Bridget Kelly. I don't, I still don't really know what a Bridget Kelly is, and I don't care. It doesn't interest me as a being, as an entity, as a woman. Now she talking about getting rid of the shitty booty in her shitty booty tees. Yeah, them implants, um, they don't seem to be working, but the fat transfer people seem to be happy. Anybody got butt injection stories, put them down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear about it. Oh, God, she went to the Atlanta doctor that got arrested and had her shit done in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to need full medical facilities. I'm going to need you to do my shit at a hospital. I want all the trauma and triage on standby. Bridget, you can't relaunch a career that never launched in the first place. Let's start there. But love, love. When you cheating on the last you was with, you don't want love, you want dick. Okay, so now we got the issues betwixt Lyrica and Michelle. Michelle said, Lyrica, you can open for me, and then Lyrica gonna be late, and she give me that tease. She gives me ditzy tease. Oh, -ho -ho! now we talk about Monice and Brandy, and this feels real plot line, but I'ma try to enjoy it for the sake of the show. But yeah, this is something that Sonya set up. See, Todd learned from Sonya. I don't know how they know each other, but they know each other. Cause Sonya been cause Sonya been cause Sonya been bringing us the bullshit for years. I don't know if that was a fuck up or a remix. So now Bridget is addressing Monice's Instagram comments about Brandy carrying Ray J and Princess Love's baby. No, uh, no, nah, nah, that girl pregnant. Princess is pregnant. Princess is pregnant. Now, you know Brandy will have a secret merge and a secret child, so I won't put shit past Heffa Norwood, and I won't put shit past Sonya either. Chris Jenner learned from Sonya, quiet as it's kept. Sonya been known how to move in Hollywood. I don't know who she is and where is she from, but that's a smart woman. Sonya, if you want somebody else to manage, manage me. Now, Sonya, I'll listen to her. Sonya did it right. Them kids sitting on coin. Ah, uh, now you see, Monice, you and I are cut from a very different cloth. I don't care how many times the devil knocks on my door. I'm never asking the devil what it wants. I'm not answering the door. If I look through the people and I see the devil, I'm going to shit and I'm going to pray. And I'm going to shit and I'm going to pray. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'ma do if the devil's at my door. If the devil's at my door, I sure as fuck ain't opening it. I'm gonna walk real quietly back to the boudoir and try to make sure Pete ain't barking. Cause I'm like, I don't want him to know we here. That's what I'ma do, but I sure as fuck ain't gonna say, what do you need, Heifer? What do you need? Hey, oh, look at Nikki. She didn't finally let her work settle. <laughs> Her breasts look like two buns baking, but other than that, she looked good. I, I like Nikki. Nikki don't really fuck with nobody too much. I, I can stomach her for some reason. You know what she is? She's a budget hood Kim Kardashian. That's what she is. A budget banshee Kim Kardashian. Well, a little more banshee than Kim, so yeah, I'll call her banshee. I forgot Princess and Nikki had issues, but I'm glad they friends. I mean, not in real life, but for the plot line. I, I don't give a fuck in real life. You know what? What the hell? I'm going to give a fuck and I'm going to wish them well. Just just to try to turn over a new leaf before the new semester. I'm going to try to be a better heifer. 
yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I thought Nikki didn't get any work done, but now I see. She is the mini face Nikki. <laughs> she didn't have a little nip and a little tuck, a little pull. <laughs> she kind of looked like Star now. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I realize every new, every season she's got a new face. That's why I don't recognize her. That's why I thought I knew the heifer. I just recognized the breast. The breast stayed the same, but the face is new. Just a little new though. I think she kept the same eyes except that pull that she had here is giving her that Richards grin. Oh Lord, Lyrica. Why are you giving Drag Race season 11 contestant with your makeup? I have seen queens with less makeup and less hair than you. This is too much. The 40 foot eyelash. The 80 foot, oh, God, and you look a mess. It's not even like it's together. Like Naomi Campbell could serve this look. You can't, you can't even cook this look, much less serve it. Oh, so K. Michelle's the voice of the season, the first lady of the franchise. Is it me or every time you see Monice, do you become repulsed? I become repulsed. Ah, Paris said, you know what, princess, you ain't gotta worry about it. I'll knock Monice's head off for you cause we the belly biffers and we gotta stick together. So now we address the K. Michelle versus Paris shit, and Paris gonna say, no, I didn't steal her credit card. I used a car service that she put on my phone, and it came out to $50. I don't care if it came out to five cents. If it's my money and you're not authorized to spend it, that's called theft, fraud, larceny. And then she went into, and that's how a boss bitch roll. Well, how do you roll? Cause you couldn't afford the $50 on your own. So princess is worried about Ray Hohen while she pregnant. I, I, I don't know why you knew that he was gonna do that. I mean, you married a porn star. I want you to think about that. You married an accidental porn star. Oh God, so you gonna move out while you pregnant. I guess you really need to be on this show. Okay, and Dorian is back. Oh, and up pulls Sissy Pearl. They are some type of restaurant. And she just got her nails done too. She seems like the type of a girl who'll twirl her pearls. Oh, look, we I don't see any more pearls this season. She's got a lovely assortment of Swarovski crystals trying to pass his real jury. Oh, great, Lucci's back. He literally just said, I got a huge advance. Girl, you got to pay that shit back, but I'm glad you put some money in your teeth. Them bitches was brand spanking. Well, I guess the girl is having her moment. She's naming relevant artists. Mona like, look, I'm going to get the real girls on here. Oh my God, these face tattoos though. But your skin's looking better. I can definitely see this is a money glow up. He went to the esthetician. Hormonial, hormonial, like Hermione, hormonial. <sighs> and they even had it with that eye in the closed caption. I was hoping the closed caption was just gonna let it be, but it was like, uh-uh, you're gonna hear and you're gonna see. Hormonial, hormonial. That pronunciation made me clutch my pearl. So Ray J whining about his wife putting their business in the street, but girl, what else do y'all really have? So now we got K versus Lyrica. Why does Lyrica look exactly like Miss Nikki Baby this season? I guess she wanted to stop sharing wigs with her mama. So K Michelle is telling Lyrica calmly, you know, you was an hour late and I had to pay for that. And Lyrica just kind of dismisses it and puts it on management. It's like, no, you have to be on time. They giving us have and have nots filter right now. <laughs> you acting like I couldn't get Susie Q a rainbow bright to get up there and shine some light. K Michelle be on her Dr. Seuss too. Ho <laughs> ho! And here comes K Michelle. Bye, Kim. It was good to see you. I'm not faking shit like you faking your marriage. I faked my marriage. Yes, girl. Yes. You know y'all have never even consummated that union. You probably walk in the room naken and he run out. Oh, they are using each other for music. 
There's no love. There's no affection. It's true. I mean, I've seen gays closer to their hags than this couple. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot how Kimberly will read the living fuck out of you. The truth is her mama is the star. Oh, God. Lyrica coming back during K. Michelle IV drip. She going to throw an IV at this girl. <laughs> Shit, you better watch that needle. Uh-uh. Ah! <laughs> I have never seen somebody cut somebody else out with an IV dripping. <laughs> the old K doing better than you, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, your album was brick. K Michelle reading her with the microphone. <laughs> she getting red and Dolby surround sound. <laughs> oh, God. Now Lyra could get a mic and K Michelle get off the stage. And now here comes security. Ah! <laughs> you forget K. Michelle is crafty. She pushed that stool. She know how to get through security. Oh, she tried to fuck Safari. I believe it. I, oh yes. Yes, she gives me that tease. Oh my God. And he called me and told me about it. Oh, and Safari is messy enough to tell who hits on him, who gives him the DMs. Yeah, yeah you can't, mm -mm. See, that's the thing, that's the thing about Safari. He too immature to give the pussy to. If you gonna give it to him, you gonna have to claim it cause he gonna brag on it. And he give me, he tell all his business tees. And that's how the po thing got robbed. That was a good first episode fight. K Michelle brings the bullshit and they really threw uh, Lyrica to the lions. I mean, Okay, Michelle, mm-mm, don't do it. You should have taken that reed on the chin. That was a Cadillac Kimberly. Sit down, ho, I'ma tell all your business, Reed. Okay, Ray J, turn it off. Oh, and Tierra Marie's here. She's arriving at Lucci's party and she's working on her comeback. I, I don't think we want you back, though. I, I don't think that we really care about new Tierra Marie music. Oh my God, this is a stripper? She looks like a lizard. How you stripping giving Godzilla teas? Nobody wants to see a scaly snatch. So A1 said, all right, all right. Let's do it old school, you rap. Let's go right here, right now. Let me hear it, let me hear it. And she croaks out her little ditty and um, no. I mean, that's the same average ass shit everybody else get no nah, girl i'm saying you ain't nothing but a lizard now now lizard honey i'm gonna give you i'll give you lizard but no more and of course lyrica walk in and she can't stand to see her sissy with another woman and i want to know why he ain't cheating so lyrica walking in like she ain't just get cussed out and put out by k michelle so she got an extra attitude now the lizard have gone apologize even though to me she ain't done nothing wrong Lyrica said, why you twerking on my man? Because he has ones. I'm at work right now. I'm at work. That's between y'all. That's y'all and y'all's vows. Oh, she said, oh, why you got ones? Bop, Apple Watts. Why are you singing this bitch is Apple Watts? This bitch is Apple Watts dancing out the room. She trying to have a Miss Vanjie moment. So Lyrica let her husband know about the safari rumor K. Michelle started. Why are they giving us this Brandy interstitial remix as Dorian is walking up to his house? And whose house is this? Because they got a real estate lock on the door. Lord, they be renting so much shit. They keep rentals in business. Mona Scott Young's Airbnb. And now we have an appearance from Sonia. Oh, God. So now we whining about Princess taking shit online. Ooh, they really set this shit up preseason, didn't they? Good thing I didn't have any fucks then, but I don't have any now either. But Dorian's skin is looking real good. Sonia said, I'm not speaking to your heifa until she apologizes. And I hope she never does, so I never have to talk to her again. I disapprove of your choice and your marriage. Meanwhile, across town. All right, now we've got the lizard storyline. I'm sorry, the heifa reptilian, and that's just what it is. Okay, so we got a stud best friend. Oh, and for once, they never messed around. Now, that this I can buy. 
Because she actually doesn't give me lesbian tease. Lizard, but not lesbian lizard. And I'm telling you, you want a best friend, get yourself a stud. They like the hind as a friend. They'll ride with you till the wheels fall off. Oh God, Mr. Ray is back and AD. Although I will say a sneakers for studs line is a smart idea, AD. I'm gonna give you credit on that. So Bridget opening for K. Michelle, but friends with Paris and gonna try to play peacemaker. <laughs> Princess said, let me know when Monice is in the building and Paris is like, girl, no, I really got you. I'm dropping the pin. And Paris called Brandy Moesha so fucking smooth. And Princess is showing up to show out. Princess walks in and takes the mic. They set Monice up for this and she is furious. Now, AD, you bringing up her threatening to release a sex tape, but um, she didn't. And Monice deserved it long before that. So, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm sorry. You can't defend that heifer. Hoo-hoo. And maybe I'll show you how to be a good mother, too. Get her, princess. Oh, God, they let Monice out the side. That was so obvious. Okay, now we got Kay and Sissy Pearl. <laughs> oh, God, the guy who wears pearls is coming to get me. I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, Kay Michelle, and Kay Michelle, your hair looks beautiful. She's mastered the confessional look. I ain't mad at it. You know, Kay Michelle is like a black Dolly Parton. Just not as nice, because Dolly's sweet as pie. Now, Sissy Pearl, I'm sorry. K. Michelle has sold albums. K. Michelle is a spokesperson for Jack Daniels. K. Michelle has turned a little bit of reality show fame into a whole ass career. Okay, her last album just flopped, but your wife's album just flopped. Sissy Pearl's like, well, I, I don't believe my wife tried to fuck Safari, but I believe your album is trash and your vocals are garbage. I mean, honey, if this ain't a read from Pose, I will, what house is he? What house is he? I, I would put him in ferocity. K. Michelle, she's an evangelista. Nah, K. Michelle is in abundance. K. Michelle is in abundance. Oh no, I, I don't think K. Michelle is mad that she'll never be a Beyonce or Rihanna. And she don't even make that kind of music. She don't do pop. And the fact that she's able to make 50 cent in this market off that is something special. Oh, he said you banned from radio and you about to get dropped. They spilling tea. I my, I mean, they just all over the floor. You moon pie head ass. Oh my God. Watch your dress, little Richard. Ooh. Oh, this was a session, all right. This was house versus house, read versus read. All right, well, that was the half episode, so I'ma see you soon for something. So tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.